Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to Consciously Create. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music and also film three videos a week on my YouTube. And this series is all about business and branding and marketing and so much more. So for this episode, we're going to talk about what to do when you can't afford to have a huge budget, like you can't afford to put much money behind your dreams and your goals. So this is what I have learned for myself because I don't have a large budget either to put behind my vision and my goals, but it's still possible to be able to go after them and achieve them. So this is kind of what I've figured out for myself is that when you don't have money, you have time and I know that like obviously we're all limited to the same amount of time in a day so it's not like you just clock up more hours in a day or anything like that but I really feel like the key is to look at what you can do yourself to save money because if you don't have a massive budget then what it then comes down to is learning how to do those things for yourself so for me with um my Facebook ads which obviously is spending money, but learning how to do them. Like I didn't go out and hire a um, a team or like a, an ad manager person to do it for me. I did it myself. I looked on YouTube and learned how to do it myself. And with music production, I also looked on YouTube, binged watched so many videos, practiced for so long to learn how to produce for myself because I couldn't afford to pay producers to get them to make music for me you know and even with um recording music instead of paying for a studio which can be very expensive especially if you want to release music consistently like I'm talking thousands you know to release music consistently so I bought the equipment myself and taught myself how to make music how to record music like how to do all of it myself and I really feel like if you don't have the money to consistently pay for things then you should learn how to do it for yourself to be honest and also it means people can't rip you off because once you know how to do it yourself you know what it involves you know how long it will take you like so nobody can delay or try and charge you a fortune when you know exactly what goes into it and how long it's going to take so I just think it's really valuable to do everything yourself from the very very start and then when you have a bit of money you can prioritize exactly what you're willing to spend on so for me adverts became something that I was then willing to spend on when when I first started I didn't spend on ads you know so you kind of look at what you enjoy and what's torture for you to be honest <laughs> so say you're doing all of these things yourself and then you start getting a bit of money then you can decide which things you're willing to spend on and which things you aren't and will carry on doing so maybe you'll then decide to spend on, I don't know, like say you'll then decide like, okay, I want to spend on a music producer so that I can have the music perfection. Like I want it to sound really high quality. So I'm going to spend on the producer and I'm going to do the artwork myself, you know, and somebody else might be like, I'm going to produce it myself, but I'm going to spend on the artwork because I'm not very good at doing artwork. So like you have to decide and look at where your strengths and weaknesses are and also what you enjoy and what you absolutely hate and have no passion for and then decide where you're going to put your money and prioritise that kind of thing. But at the beginning, especially at the beginning and even carrying on, we can do the majority of it ourselves. We just have to be willing to put the time in to learn how to do it because when you first start you're not going to be perfect it's not going to be that amazing like it might be good but it doesn't mean that it's going to be top level because the people that are top level have spent years and years and years and they have the best of the best equipment you know like when you look at these major artists I know this is kind of directed at music at the minute but it also relates to any kind of industry and field that you're in because when you look at the top people in your industry and what they're doing they have the money and the resources the connections the like the equipment they have everything that they could need as well as the experience and practice in doing it and when you're first starting out and even when you're not first starting out but you're a small brand or a small business like you don't have those resources but what you do have is your own unique mind your own unique talents and gifts and perception and perspective so you can create 
through your own experience and from your own perception and gifts and things and then practice and put in that work and practice and you will get better you know so I really feel like it's just down to whether you're going to put the time in to do it yourself or whether you're going to spend the money to get somebody else to do it and that will free up your time you know like that's kind of the main um decision that we really have to make is are you going to do it yourself or are you going to hire someone else to do it and then as your budget gets bigger like if you look at big brands big artists big everything they have such a huge budget that they're able to pay the money to get other people to do it for them which frees up their time so then they can focus on whatever kind of creative thing that they want to do you know but they obviously have a huge budget and if you think about how much money they must spend on staff and a team like they must spend a goddamn fortune to be able to have all of these people helping them in all areas of their brand or business you know and and then obviously when they make money like they make it all back and they'll make a bit of profit but like it's large expenses as well and I think when you first start out like you don't really think about the fact that you have to spend money to make money so you do have a lot of expenses going out and the bigger you get you need to free up your time because it's just too many things too many project projects too much stuff to do it all yourself you know but at the very beginning we can do it all ourselves and then you'll gradually hire a team gradually hire people to do things for you so yes there is a way to do it when you don't have any money but it just requires you doing it yourself and putting in that work and then eventually you'll be able to hire people and delegate those tasks to them so i hope this video was helpful thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already because i do upload three times a week and not just talking about music and business and marketing but also spirituality and relationships and emotional alchemy and so so much more so yes and all links to my social media my phone number my music everything about me my crystal healing jewelry that i hand make myself all of that will be in the description box below and i will see you in the next video bye Oh, yeah, think he like me Yeah, I'm icy, coolin' in that white tea Oh, yeah, think he like me Yeah, I'm icy, coolin' in that white tea Oh, yeah, think he might I'm the thing he like me, my range all white Oh, yeah, think he might I'm the thing he like me, my range all white